way to keep our Guard family members, all deployed service members, and their families in our thoughts and prayers. Congratulations, job well done, and thank you for continuing a proud legacy of service in the Army National Guard Aviation. These 19 men and women were the Army's eyes and ears during their year-long deployment in Southwest Asia. Doing our part to thwart the, the global war on terrorism, you know, that's absolutely fantastic being a part of that. They may be a small group, but it's a small group making a big impact in the global fight against terror and a source of pride for the first state. Even though we were a small group of 19, the 19 of us were able to make a big impact over in the signal communications field over there. Attention Chalk 2, please gather your things to prepare to depart. I'm pretty excited. I'm anxious to get over there. It'll be my first deployment. Um, I've been waiting for this for going on maybe a year now. We found out about it and um, yeah, I just, I'm ready to go. At the end of the day, you know, we're just going there doing what we do every day and fight in the fight that we signed up for. We do we do a job that takes us away from them, you know, so much and then when we get to come home to them, it's it's one of the best things in the world. So it's really it's really hard to describe, but it's one of the greatest feelings you'll ever have. Bottled water has been sent in and the National Guard is on call after toxins were found in water wells. What's pretty unique about the Guard is that we're able to support, you know, obviously operations overseas, but in a moment's notice, we can support the community as well. So we got this and we were able to mobilize within pretty much an hour. Yeah, the snow shovel is ready because it looks like they will be needed. The entire region will be under a winter storm warning in about an hour. We've had reports already of an icy glaze out there as freezing rain continues to fall across portions of Delaware and South Jersey. Publish the order. Attention to orders. The following award is announced. The Defense Superior Service Medal. Special order, Gulf Charlie 01. Brigadier General Wendy B. Wanky is assigned as Assistant Adjutant General, Air. So what does that mean to us in Delaware? What that means is we're going to rebuild our military readiness, but we're going to do that by getting back to the basics. That's what our airmen expect. That's what airmen want to do. You know, everybody's in this together and we're one family, but at the end of the day, uh, what you're developing is a legacy. Arthur John Maxwell is quoted as saying, people buy into the leader before they buy into the vision. I completely agree and challenge myself and others to be a leader who others want to follow. It all begins with a family. It started with a great family of yours. It starts with these wonderful families up front that support Hi Mom, uh, you know, the family and the mentor. They've uh, afforded me the opportunity to grow as a person and as an heir. And that, that is a debt that I will never be able to repay. Great place to work and a great shop to train and learn their skills and practice. On Friday, members of the National Guard, veterans, state officials, and more celebrated the opening of a $12 million state of the art vehicle maintenance shop in Dagsboro that will be used to maintain and repair all military vehicles. And this building is designed for at least 25 years. We, we expect at least 25 years on it, but don't be surprised if, if 40 years from now, this building is still here. Well, this is an important collaboration between the uh, Delaware National Guard and the Delaware Public Archives, working co-jointly with each other. So the uh, National Guard had some discussion with the staff of the archives and myself, and they said, how can we make these available to the public? And that sprung an idea, and we worked together, and at culmination of about 10 months later, we have these beautiful 18 paintings. What an honor this is for me, and I am truly in awe. This is our day. This is our day to celebrate our commitments, our loyalties, and especially our sacrifices to our country. And just allow the person who has the passion and the calling to serve their state and their country. How smart is that? So uh, I'm very proud that I got the opportunity during my years of service 2018, Brigadier General Karen Berry makes history when she becomes the first Delaware Army National Guard female to be promoted in state to the rank 
of Brigadier General. I often get asked what made me join the National Guard and why I am still here over 31 years later. My reason was very simple. The Guard is what gave me hope that I could continue to pursue my four-year degree, so I joined. I've stayed all these years because so many of you that are sitting here that I served with and that I continue to serve with are part of my family. What would you tell somebody that's considering the same track? Just go for it. The sky is the limit and you, um, I think if you just kind of keep pushing toward your goal and um, completing all the things you need to do, it, it can happen. women and family of the Delaware National Guard. Okay. I want to thank all veterans and their families. A special thank you to those who have had relatives and family members killed in action, missing in action, and prisoner of war. The community, it's the kids, it's the soldiers, it's you name it. It's people who just want to see the music. Each year our concert just keeps getting better and better and better and the fact that your entire Delaware Guard family come to see our concerts as well, they're going to have a concert that they've never seen before. Delaware National Guard troops showcase their training skills to a number of community members. This outreach an opportunity for us to learn exactly what the Delaware National Guard does. The Guard over the years, as a lot of people know, has become the ready force needed. Uh, anywhere around the world. Last year, Delaware National Guard crews served on 112 federal missions overseas and 115 statewide. Delaware is a great supporter of the Delaware National Guard, so we're very blessed here in the state of Delaware. I am Specialist Martin, 25 Quebec, and this is why I guard. You really get into it. Actually doing your MOS, so you, you refresh on it, you're like, oh, I remember that, and then you get more proficient on it, and you feel better because you're actually doing your job that you went to school for. Like mission success is definitely, it's definitely a good feeling, especially when you're behind the scenes. It's hard to describe, but you definitely, it's definitely pride. My name is Staff Sergeant James Hughes and I am the mission. A normal day working on a C-130H, it's a day full of scheduled maintenance. The best part about our job is not only do we get to meet this mission, not only do we get to turn a safe aircraft to our brothers and sisters and ops, but we get to fly with them a lot of times. I can't think of any place where I would get the type of experience that I'm getting right now. People are having a new experience. It's something that is unique to the National Guard. Well, just being a part of the Delaware National Guard in itself it just it makes me very proud to be a part of such a great state. It's, a, it's an amazing experience. I love being a part of it. Medical evacuation may soon get its biggest ally yet as a proof of concept for use of the C-5M Super Galaxy in AE missions has kicked off at AMC headquarters. Establishing the C-5M as part of the universal qualification training for all AE forces, the Air Force would increase its AE intertheater capability by 19 percent. So uh, uh, Delaware Air and Army National Guard are all in at every level, so we're at, we were at the planning level, we're at the uh, OIC uh, level at each site, and then we're at the provider level actually working with the patients. So um, it's great to see Delaware National Guard at every level getting great training, great experience, and making a difference in the community. You get a chance to do what they do, and they get to do it in a real environment. And soldiers, soldiers find a lot more value in something that's, that's, that they can hold on to and, and, and say, I actually finished this, I did it. That alone is a win. Thank you.